Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm going over how to fill out the new form W-4 for 2020, which you should see. Now these instructions I'm gonna go over in this video will tell you exactly how to fill out the form W-4, whether you're getting a new job or you're a business owner who's being taxed as a corporation or an S-Corp, and so you're paying yourself as a W-2 employee. And therefore, the first step in getting paid as an employee is to complete Form W-4. Really quickly first, let me just introduce myself. My name's Amanda, and you're watching The Business Finance Coach on YouTube, where I simplify business to help you succeed because I truly believe that the world is gonna be a better place when everyone is following the dream dreams that they have inside of them and bringing the business, the movement, the change that they want to see in the world to life. Okay, guys, here we are in the form. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is going to make this really simple. Although there are a few sections here that look a bit complicated and involve coming up with some fancy numbers, the truth is all you have to fill out on here is step one, your personal information, your social security number, your address, name, and your filing status. As of 1231, 2020, the end of 2020, on that day, will you be single or will you be married? <laughs> That's it. Um, head of household is one that you can qualify for if your spouse does not live with you, you're officially separated, and you take you have dependent children, um, then you can qualify for head of household, which is more advantageous than single. Now, the only other section you need to fill out is signing down here at step five, sign here. That's it. You only have to fill out those two spots, and it's just going to use the standard withholding based on the total amount of your paychecks and your filing status. And that's it. You're done. Like they say here, you only need to complete steps two to four right here, these middle sections, if they apply to you. So this section here is like the first wave of criteria. It's saying, do you have more than one job or are you married and maybe your spouse has another job or do you have other types of income? If all you have is this one job, if that's the only way you're getting money, then you don't even need to worry about this, okay? Now the simplest option here, if there is one other job, is option C. So you can just check this box, letting them know that you have another job that's about of equal pay. So if you're making about the same both places and you also give another copy of this W-4 to your other job with this box checked, then they're going to assume that you're making about double what the paycheck is and that your other job is adjusting accordingly as well and your paycheck should be right on. Now, if that's not the case, if one of your other jobs is making a lot more or a lot less or other random income, then we can look at option A or B here. So option A is to use this W-4 app from the IRS. You just click this link right here and it opens up. Um, I'm gonna keep that closed. And so you get started here and you're gonna walk through being asked all of these questions. So let's say I was gonna be single. Can someone else claim you as a dependent on their tax return? And you just keep answering all of these questions about what your taxes are gonna be at the end of the year. And when you get to the very end, it's going to give you your results for the amounts to put on the W-4. So you just answer the questions as best you can. It is an estimate. And remember, in my free business spreadsheet template, which I give away, you can always use the quarterly tax worksheet to enter your income and the amounts held from your W-2 and see where you stand as far as taxes, which is a great thing to do each quarter. Okay, so let's look here. The other option was to just use worksheets that are further down in this PDF file. If we come down here, we see that we have step two multiple jobs worksheet and step four deduction worksheet. And these are just things that you keep for your records that show how you came up with the numbers you put on here. So those worksheets are gonna be for these sections down here, our deductions and extra withholdings. We have the multiple jobs worksheet. So this is the option if we have two jobs, 
We go to line two if we have three jobs or more, okay? When we go through this worksheet, they talk about the amount we are earning at each job, okay? So if you have two jobs and you're married, filing joint, and you and your spouse each have one job, find the amount from the appropriate table on page four, find the value at the intersection of the two household salaries and enter that here. Then skip to line three. So they're saying you wanna find the higher salary. Let's say like our, we have a, a couple. One spouse is making 75,000, one is making 20. So the person who's making 75, they have the higher paying job, right? So we would come to this row, and then we're gonna go over until we hit the, the um, salary for the lower paying spouse. So here, it would be right here, $3,240, and that is what you would enter right here. Now in this situation where there's just two jobs or married filing joint, we would then skip to line three, which is just enter the number of pay periods for the year that you have for the highest paying job. So if it was paid weekly, it would be 52. If every other week, 26 and so forth. So you put that number here, the number of pay periods, and then divide the annual amount on line one or two C by the number of pay periods on line three. So you're just gonna take line one, divide it by line three and put that here on line four. Now the difference is you're just going to follow these instructions. If you have more than two jobs, they're gonna have you do that multiple times using the different tables, which is what they're instructing you to do here at 2A and 2B, and then you add up those amounts on 2C and you follow the same steps here if you know this applies instead of this if you have three or more jobs instead of two okay and so that amount like it says right here enter this amount here and in step 4c for the highest paying job along with any other amount you want withheld so 4c if we come up here this is extra withholding per pay period so that's the amount they're going to withhold you enter here now, our other worksheet that we're going to look at is going to be for the deductions. So if we come down here, deductions worksheet. If you look at your prior year tax return, that's gonna be the easiest way to get these numbers. You'll enter an, an estimate for your itemized deductions here. You'll then enter the standard deduction amount based on your filing status right here. So if you're head of household, it's this amount. If you're single, it's this amount. If you're married filing joint, it's 24,800. So you put that here. You get to use whichever is greater. So if the itemized isn't more than that, then you just use the standard deduction and put that on line three. And then you're gonna enter an estimate of any deductions you have for AGI, which is typically student loan interest, one half of your self-employment taxes, uh, IRA contributions, but most people are using the Roth, so those won't count. Um, let me know if you have any specific questions about any of these deductions. But like I said, a lot of times they won't apply, so you just take the amount here and add it to the amount here and put it here. And on 4B, which is right here, the deductions amount. So the last thing we need to go over here is step three down to 4A. So step three is based on if you have qualifying dependents. So if you have a child who's under 17 and who lives at home, who doesn't pay more than half of their own support, who you qualify to take as a dependent, you will times the number of children you have by 2,000. As long as you're earning less than 200,000 single or 400,000 married, you'll qualify for that child tax uh, credit. Now, there are more things that come into play, um, so do be aware when you file your 2019 return, if anything you estimated on this W-4 is incorrect, you can always update it. Then the next one is the other main tax credit now, which is called the other dependent tax credit. For someone to qualify as an other dependent, they have to, you have to, they have to live with you all year and 
you have to primarily support them, which means that they can't have earned more than almost $4,200. Once they go over that threshold, then they don't qualify. Now, if they have social security disability that isn't taxable to them, then you could, you know, that doesn't count for that 4,200 and you could still qualify to deduct them. So take the number of other dependents times 500, put that amount here, add these together here on line three. And like I said, these are just the tax credits for qualified dependents or qualifying relative rules. And then the last one here, other income. So if you want tax withheld for other income, you expect that you don't have withholding for, you just enter that amount here such as self-employment, interest, dividends, retirement. Sometimes uh, people you know, will have like a rental property that they'll get a set amount of income from or know that they have a set amount of loss from, and so they'll adjust their W-4 accordingly. So don't worry about this too much. Like I said at the start, you can just sign up here and go ahead, I'm sorry, sign up. <laughs> you can enter your info up here in step one and sign in step five and be done all of this extra is just to estimate what your final taxes are really going to be. Remember, there is the app at the IRS you can go to, which will give you the amounts to put on the W-4 at the end. Or you can use the worksheets we went over on page four here, multiple jobs worksheets and deductions worksheet, which uses these tables down here for if you have multiple jobs or have a spouse with the job and those help you fill in these amounts down here you just need to estimate your tax credits for the end of the year as well as any other income you want for your taxes to consider when they're withholding from your paycheck so that's all i'd love to hear from you if you have questions in the comments below this video was inspired from my paying owners and workers course which is part of my small business school that helps small business owners and self-employed people get set up in a spreadsheet template to do their accounting taxes. Now I do have a free version of that spreadsheet template. It just has a basic accounting, quarterly taxes and end of year taxes. And that's for anyone to use, like I mentioned in this video, even if you're an employee, you may wanna use the quarterly tax worksheet. I'd love for you to get a hold of that. You'll see the link in the description below this video. It's totally free, it works for a lot of people. But if your business is more advanced, then you may want to check out Small Business School. All right. Great seeing you guys. See you next time. Bye.